Okay. Right parabola equation level one. This is from Delta Math. Let's see. Okay, so we have a parabola. A parabola can be drawn given a focus of negative six, negative six, and the directrix of y equals negative eight. Write the equation of the parabola in any form. So they're saying any form because you have two different forms. You could write the parabola in. So delta math tells you a negative under here and a negative here. But you can always just use this form. I like this form where the P is determined by the direction that you go. Let me show you. So here's negative six, negative six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's my focus, negative six, negative six. And my directrix is negative, y equals negative eight. So negative seven, negative eight. There's my directrix y equals negative 8. Okay. So where is the vertex? So the vertex is always halfway between the focus and the directrix. And because I'm using graph paper, it makes this a lot easier. I can see that my vertex is just one unit down. So what's the coordinate of the vertex? <clears throat> well, this is negative six, so you go down one, negative seven, negative six, negative seven. Okay, there's my vertex. We also will need the P. We need the P and the vertex to write the equation. So the vertex, we got that, the P. So P is the distance from the vertex to the focus. Because we're going up to get to the focus, P is positive and it is positive one. We got the vertex, negative six, seven. Sorry, negative six, negative seven. And now we can um, plug these values in to either one of these, and we'll get our equation. So let's do this one. Y equals one over four times P. P is one times X minus H. H is negative six squared plus K, which is negative seven. Always use parentheses when you're substituting. It'll make your life a lot easier when it comes to simplifying this thing. Put another parentheses, yes. Okay, so we simplify this. Y equals one over, four times one is four. X minus negative six, that's the same as X plus six squared. And we're just gonna go ahead and put minus seven. So that's one answer you can enter. Or you could use this form. So this form is going to be four times P. Four times P is one times Y minus K is negative seven equals H, I'm sorry, X minus H. X minus H is negative six squared. So the only difference between these two forms is here Y is by itself and here Y is not by itself. You know, it's fine. So let's simplify this thing. Four times one is four. So four times Y plus seven equals x plus six squared. So this is your answer, or this is your answer. 
Delta Math would appreciate either one. Thank you.